What's up everyone, welcome back to Guns and Outdoors with Daryl. And today, we got a ring door video camera. So right off the bat, I just wanna give credit to where I found the video. Show you guys where I found it, I don't know, give credit. It ain't my video, all right? I don't have any of these videos, so I'm just basically taking them from every which way direction. But this ring door video aired on TV July 22nd, 2021. Obviously, we're in 2023, so I know it's not the newest video out, but I feel like it's important to the channel. The credit's going to go to KTNV Channel 13. Are you sure? I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. Are you sure? I, I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions. Here. Are you sure? I, 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 well, what? Are you sure? I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. Are you sure? Are you positive? Are you sure? I just have a couple questions for you. Are you sure? Are you positive? I just have a couple questions for you. Are you sure? Are you positive? Are you sure? Are you absolutely certain? So, um, yeah, that was a lot. Uh, normally, that was a lot. So normally what would transpire in this instance is we re it and we'll break through it. But honestly, I feel disgusted. I don't want to re-watch that because that is very traumatizing. Um, luckily, the person that was in this video was brought into custody. What has happened to that person? I don't know that's far out of my scope of research that I'm willing to do um, unless you guys really take a firm interest in this and you guys like come on man we, we want to know more we want to know what happened with this person did he go to jail all that stuff then I start doing more research but as it goes like I'm just the person to say hey that's what you should have done it's what I would have done in this instance and we watch something very interesting that we can learn from because the idea is to learn from these situations so that we can better um, understand what to do if something like this happens or something similar like this happens. He continues to repeat the same thing over and over and over again, which means he's either not all here or he's on something. Both can be a problem, especially when he utters those words of, I'm going to, and I want to, that's a very strong language. Um, luckily, was one keep her door locked. Two, she wasn't engaging in 
conversation with the person on the other end of this door to agitate him in any type of way. Um, and so, you know, she I'm assuming she caught the cops because this person was caught. So I'm going to presume she caught the cops. Um, hopefully she had a firearm because in these situations you will want a firearm, um, you know, just in case he was to get even more aggressive than what he was stating and he actually tried to um, stay true to his word because as you guys clearly see, he did touch the doorknob, right? He was trying to see if the door was unlocked. He did state that he had two weapons, not just one, but two weapons, and he stated his intent on what he wanted to do, which was essentially the very strong name, so I don't want to just throw it out there on YouTube. As far as the other guy on the end of the line, I think that was her husband per se, I understand what he was trying to do in an attempt of um, scaring him away. Like, that makes sense logically. However, um, I would state this. You guys seen clearly that the man was walking away, right? He was still repeating himself, but he was walking away. And it seemed like the moment that the husband said something through the ring door well camera, that actually irritated the, the um, person a lot more as he he turned around so he turned so he turned around so let let me let me go back let me go back here I don't have this part recorded so you guys are not seeing it but so he's talking about what he's gonna do he's checking the, the door but I just want to make sure I have my facts right so he's talking about what he's gonna do he's touching the doorknob trying to open it he walks away he hears the husband say something through the ring door board camera he tilts his head he goes back and he starts telling them what he wants to do to her. And he starts knocking and stuff like that for a good split second. And then he walks off and et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, it could go either way. For me, personally, what I would have done in this situation if um, it was me, the only time I would have responded is when he was at the door and he was trying to open it. That's when I would have responded. I would have been like, hey, hey, what are you doing? You get what I'm saying? To have him think like, oh, maybe there's a guy in here. Maybe there's a man in here. Oh, man, that's a, that's a lot. This is just a complete traumatized and scary event. And uh, I hope that she got the hope that she needed. I hope that her husband don't feel too bad. With that being said, let me know what you guys would have done in this situation.